Online date turned out to be a brush with death for a teenager. Tonight, a 31 year old man is charged with trying to kill her after their face to face meeting. Seven Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram live in Redford, where the case against him came out in court today. Jennifer? Stephen and Heather, that teenage girl, was shot last month. Her alleged shooter is now behind bars, and police tell us today that it all started with an online dating site. <laughs> 7 Action News cameras rolling in court this morning as 31-year-old Matthew Grant is charged with several crimes, including two counts of assault with intent to commit murder. His victim, a 17-year-old girl he met online, say police. The defendant, Mr. Grant, and the victim, Ms. Wojcic, met on a dating site called Meet Me. They arranged to meet. Investigators say the two met near this Del Taco in Dearborn Heights on May 18th around 10 at night. They met at that location. Grant gave Wojtis $100, and uh, it was a short meeting, and then Grant got out of Wojtis' car and got back into his own vehicle. It's still unclear what exactly happened inside of the car, but what we do know, things took a turn for the worse. The teen tells police she left, drove to a different location to pick up her boyfriend, and as the couple was driving, they realized Grant was following them. He then pulled alongside her vehicle in the township of Redford, firing one to two shots from his from a handgun into her vehicle. Police say at least one bullet went through the window, hitting the girl in her right shoulder. It happened in the area of Joy and Telegraph in Redford. We're told Grant then took off and the girl and her boyfriend drove to the hospital. I have a concern about flight risk because of the nature of the charges and his ability to move. And I have a concern for safety. Cell phone records later led police to Grant, who his attorney says has no felony convictions and is a graduate of Oakland University. Still with his family members in the courtroom, the judge handed down a $1 million bond. And if Grant does pose a bond, the judge says he does have to wear a GPS tether and he has to stay away from computers, especially online dating sites. Now, he's due back in court on July 19th. And as for that teenage girl, we're told she is out of the hospital and recovering. We're live in Redford. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News. All right, Jennifer, thank you for that live report. The